Uh, welcome to Investor Web, your trusted guide to personal development and financial growth. We're here to arm you with knowledge and strategies to help you grow personally and financially. Our focus for this video, overcoming procrastination. This common habit can be a roadblock on your journey to success, stifling progress in both personal and financial domains. But fear not as we explore 10 effective ways to eliminate procrastination. So buckle up and get ready to conquer this habit. In today's video, we delve into the 10 ways to eliminate procrastination, a habit that hinders progress. Before we dive into the solutions, it's crucial to understand what procrastination is. Procrastination, in its simplest form, is the act of delaying or postponing tasks that one should be focusing on. It's that nagging voice in our heads that says, I'll do it later. But why do we procrastinate? Well, often it's due to a lack of motivation or fear of failure. It could also be because the task seems too overwhelming or quite frankly, just plain boring. The effects of procrastination are far reaching. It not only hampers our productivity, but also jeopardizes our chances of success. Procrastination breeds stress and anxiety leading to a vicious cycle of delay and worry. It's like a slow poison hampering our progress and stunting our growth. Now that we understand procrastination, let's explore ways to combat it. The first way to eliminate procrastination is by prioritizing your tasks. Now, we all have a flurry of tasks to get done each day, but not all tasks are created equal. Some are more important, some are less urgent, and some are just plain unnecessary. Prioritizing enables us to identify which tasks are high value and which are low value. So, how do we prioritize effectively? Start by making a list of all your tasks, then assign each task a level of importance and urgency. This will help you identify your high priority tasks, those that are both important and urgent. Tackle these tasks first. As you tick off each task, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment that will propel you to keep going. This momentum can significantly reduce your likelihood to procrastinate. Remember, procrastination often stems from feeling overwhelmed, but when you prioritize, you bring order to the chaos. When you prioritize, you focus on what matters most, reducing the chances of procrastination. The second way to combat procrastination is by breaking your tasks into manageable parts. This is a strategy that works wonders for those daunting tasks that seem too large to even start. Imagine you're standing at the foot of a mountain. It's overwhelming, isn't it? But if you break it down one step at a time, one rock at a time, it becomes more manageable. That's exactly what Task Breakdown does. It turns that mountain of work into a series of small hills. The beauty of this method is that it reduces the feeling of being overwhelmed. Each part becomes a mini task in itself, each with its own beginning and end. And as you complete each part, you gain a sense of accomplishment. This momentum can carry you forward, propelling you to complete the next task and the next until before you know it, you've completed the entire project. Breaking tasks down makes them less intimidating, which in turn reduces procrastination. Thirdly, set clear, achievable goals. One of the key reasons we procrastinate is because we view tasks as large, daunting mountains that seem impossible to climb. But when we break these mountains down into manageable hills, we can begin to see the path forward. This is where setting clear, achievable goals comes into play. Think of your tasks not as one large project, but as a series of smaller, achievable goals. Each goal should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This is often referred to as the smart goal setting strategy. When your goals are clear and achievable, you know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it. This clarity reduces the uncertainty and overwhelm that often leads to procrastination. It's like having a roadmap that guides you towards your destination. Remember, every large task begins with a single, small step. Clear, achievable goals provide a roadmap to success, reducing the likelihood of procrastination. The fourth way to eliminate procrastination is by using time management techniques. You see, time is the most valuable asset we have, yet it's easy to lose track of it if we're not careful. That's where time management techniques come into play. One popular technique is the Pomodoro method. Named after a tomato-shaped kitchen timer, this technique involves working for a set amount of time, typically 25 minutes, followed by a five-minute break. This cycles four times before taking a longer break. It's a simple yet effective way to maintain focus and productivity. Another technique is time blocking. This involves scheduling specific time slots for different tasks throughout your day. It helps to give structure to your day and prevents you from becoming overwhelmed. 
These techniques aren't just about getting more done. They're about working smarter, not harder. By managing your time effectively, you can maintain focus, increase productivity, and most importantly, keep procrastination at bay. Effective time management keeps procrastination at bay. Fifthly, eliminate distractions. Distractions are like little thieves, quietly stealing away our precious time and focus. They are one of the biggest contributors to procrastination, luring us away from our tasks with the promise of instant gratification. But what if we could lock these thieves out? One way is to create a dedicated workspace, a place where you associate with work and nothing else. This mental association can help keep distractions at bay also. Consider going on a digital detox. Turn off unnecessary notifications, put your phone on silent or better yet out of sight. If you're working on a computer, close irrelevant tabs and apps. Lastly, let's not forget about mental distractions. Meditate, clear your mind. It's about creating a peaceful environment both inside and outside. Remember, it's about not giving these little thieves any opportunity to strike. A distraction-free environment promotes productivity, helping you overcome procrastination. The sixth way to overcome procrastination is through mindfulness. Mindfulness, in its simplest form, is about being completely present in the moment, fully engaged in whatever is happening around and within you, without judgment or distraction. When you're mindful, you're not worried about the future or dwelling on the past. You're focused on the here and now. This focus can have a profound impact on your ability to get things done. You see, when you're fully engaged in the present moment, it's difficult to procrastinate. You're not thinking about how difficult or tedious a task might be. You're just doing it one step at a time. Practicing mindfulness can be as simple as taking a few moments each day to focus on your breath, to really pay attention to how it feels as you inhale and exhale. Or it could involve more formal practices like meditation or yoga. Mindfulness keeps you anchored in the present, reducing the tendency to procrastinate. Seventhly, seek support and accountability. It's easy to break promises to ourselves, but it's a lot harder when we know someone else is watching. This is where a good support system comes into play. It can be a friend, a family member, or even a professional coach. Share your goals with them and ask them to hold you accountable. Now, you might be wondering, how do I create accountability? Well, it can be as simple as giving them permission to check in on your progress regularly. Or you could go a step further and set up a consequence for not meeting your deadlines. This could be a fun challenge or a friendly wager. But remember, the goal here isn't to punish yourself. It's to create a sense of responsibility and urgency that helps you stay on track. We all need a little push sometimes, and there's no shame in seeking that from others. Support and accountability can provide the extra push needed to overcome procrastination. The eighth way to combat procrastination is maintaining a healthy lifestyle. The connection between a healthy body and a healthy mind is undeniable. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can significantly boost your energy and motivation levels. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones, which increase your sense of well-being and reduce feelings of stress. This uplifted mood can motivate you to tackle tasks you've been putting off. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains can provide the nutrients necessary for optimum brain function. When your brain is fueled properly, it's more capable of maintaining focus and making decisions, two critical skills for overcoming procrastination. Moreover, maintaining a regular sleep schedule ensures that your body and mind are well rested and ready to tackle the day's tasks. Lack of sleep can lead to fatigue, decreased focus and increased likelihood of procrastination. A healthy lifestyle fuels your body and mind, making it easier to ward off procrastination. To wrap up, let's quickly recap the eight ways to eliminate procrastination. Firstly, we discussed the importance of prioritizing tasks. By identifying what tasks are most important and urgent, we can tackle them head on and prevent procrastination. Secondly, we talked about breaking tasks into manageable parts. This makes daunting tasks seem less intimidating and easier to start. Thirdly, we emphasize the need for setting clear, achievable goals. When we have a clear vision of what we want to achieve, it becomes easier to stay focused and motivated. Fourthly, we explored various time management techniques, such as the Pomodoro technique, which can help organize our time efficiently and keep procrastination at bay. 
Fifthly, we highlighted the need to eliminate distractions. Whether it's turning off notifications on our devices or creating a quiet workspace, removing distractions is crucial in maintaining focus. Next, we explored the concept of practicing mindfulness. By being present and focused on the task at hand, we can significantly reduce the tendency to procrastinate. Seventhly, we stressed the importance of seeking support and accountability. Whether it's from a mentor, a friend, or a family member, having someone to hold us accountable can be a powerful deterrent to procrastination. Lastly, we underscored the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep can significantly boost our energy levels and productivity. Remember, overcoming procrastination is a journey, not a destination. Stay patient and persistent. Don't forget to subscribe to InvestorWeb for more such insightful content. Thank you for watching.